I feel like it's really cringy for me to just sit here and sing with no music and stuff. But, like, if you put a song on there that I like or whatever, I might. We'll see. Just depends. I don't know. What denomination are you? I'm Church of Christ. But I'm definitely not one of those Church of Christ people who thinks that Church of Christ people are the only people going to heaven. Uh, there's, there's some of those out there. I'm not one of them. Um, favorite food? I'm a carnivore, so I'm very picky eating overall. But when it comes to types of like wild game or like beef or chicken or like any type of meat, really, I'm not picky like at all. So I in any type of protein, like if it comes from an animal, I'm I'll eat it. When I sing Christian music, I don't know that song, but I've been really behind on the whole music game lately. I um, I have not been learning lyrics of new songs, and I need to. I love God's Country by Blake Shelton, though. I know that's not necessarily like a Christian song, but you said that, and it's like, I like that one. How do you find the artists that you post on your story? Some of them are, I have friends who, like, um, represent artists, and so they'll, like, be like, hey, like, what do you think of this new music? So they send me new music a lot, or I am the person who likes to go on Spotify and not look at mainstream stuff, but look at, like, the smaller artists, and I really, like, my playlists are usually, like, smaller artists and stuff. I, I like that. Yes, I used to braille race a lot. Sorry, it's like a water burp. Um, I feel cringy just like singing randomly. Like I know you asked, but like oh, that feels weird. It feels very like pretentious and low. Oh. I went to Lipscomb. Love Tyler Childers. It's like my favorite right now. I know that's kind of like basic to be a Tyler Childers fan right now. But I was a Tyler Childers fan before it was cool. So, just saying. Like, um, uh, Daddy works like a mule in Pike County Cold. He messed up his back, couldn't work anymore. One of these days you'll get out these hills. Keep your nose on the grindstone out of the pill. And I'll just skip the next part again. And daddy, I've been trying. I just can't catch a break. There's too much in this world. Can't seem to shake. And there's hurt you can cause. Time alone cannot heal. Keep your nose on the grindstone out of the pills. So. <laughs> Are breeches more comfortable than jeans? Sometimes. I love breeches. Like, uh, I used to have a bunch of hunt seaters, and so I'd be riding in English, like, more than Western. And I loved, and this is back when I was like super skinny too, so that's like a given. I loved having my breeches on and my tall boots because my tall boots were super broken in. Uh, my tall boots, breeches, and a tank top tucked in was like my summer fit. It was w w what I wore every day, and I felt so cute. So. Um. Tennessee whiskey is a little too hard for me. I'm not going to lie. Um, so my parents are not musicians. No. But um, my grandmother on my dad's side is was super musical. She died before I was born. Um, but she like, sang in church and played the guitar and was just like a very musical person. And so I've been told that I'm like built like her as far as my body that I, you know, have the musical talents. She, um, was the horse lover in the family. So like, I've been told I'm a lot like her. 
So it's probably where I got it from. Uh, I've actually never duck hunted. I was supposed to this year, but it got canceled. So. How's the new rifle my dad bought me? I'm waiting on my scope. Uh, so I have not gotten it set up yet. Sadly. I'm really itching to shoot it though. Uh, one tip for a beginner who just got a bow. I would say don't make it just like, okay, this is if possible. Because I know people's schedules and people's where they live is different. Um, if possible, shoot a little bit every day. Instead of doing um, like a one long practice on like a Saturday or something, you're better off shooting five arrows a day than like 20 arrows in one day. You want to be shooting when you're not as tired, when you get fatigued, then you start making bad habits. You want to shoot fresh, even if you have to shoot like in the morning and then come back to it later in the evening once you've had a break, do short increments and you will progress way better, in my opinion. Tip on shooting trap. I love trap shooting. That's like me and my pap's thing. Um, he's taught me a lot about shooting clay, shooting birds, that thing as I've grown up. That was like our thing to do together. And um, having your stance correct is like a big thing. So watch YouTube videos on how like your form is supposed to be. Form is actually super important in trap. So yeah. How many horses do we have in the barn? They're not all ours, but there's 20 something. I don't know. I'm from just south of Nashville. So like middle Tennessee. Start Eng would, I, would I recommend starting English or Western? I recommend starting English because you have less saddle around you. It makes it forces you to gain a better balance and leg strength. And then transitioning to Western from English is way easier than transitioning from Western. Did I say that right? Transitioning from English to Western is easier than Western to English. Um, I'm a Ford person. What's my favorite song cover that I did? My favorite song, and it has to be with music or it just sounds like weird. My favorite song to sing ever is um, Old Red by Blake Shelton. So I really like Blake Shelton. That's, that's honestly my favorite song to sing in the whole world. I don't drink like hardly at all. So it, I, I drink so little that I might as well say that I don't drink. God's country. God's, God's country is hard. It's like, it's the kind of song where you can either sing, well, this is me. It's where I can either sing the chorus or the verse, but not both because it's such a wide range. How are I, how am I doing not having Mountain Dew? It's been rough. It's been a rough life. Come on. Can you like pick a place? Either stay up here or leave and go poop in the house somewhere. Um, tips for hair growth. Don't use a lot of heat. Don't fry your hair like I did this last time. Uh, don't cut it as much as you think you should. Like do little trims, but don't like always cut three or four inches off. Like I know you're supposed to like stop the splittage of your hair and everything, but keep cutting it. It's not going to get super long. Kimmy's my girl. Yeah, we ended up booking to St. Lucia. I'm just yawning. I'm not, like, my voice isn't great tonight. Maybe it's because I've talked a lot today. But 